Hey, how we go? Mickey here from Knob Cartel, tuning in for another video. Um, do a quick review, beer review, of the uh, Feral Brewing Biggie Juice. Um, just a moment before I get into that, I'll discuss a little bit about what's happening here in the brewery. Um, I've just ordered from Ch uh, Cheeky Peaks uh, Brewing Supplies and Redonga three more taps. Um, another two kegs, um, a manifold, a few other bits and pieces to go with it to complete that. Um, funds left me a little bit short on getting that fourth keg. That fourth keg's only going to be put on uh, for the rest of the family, so we'll probably have like a soft drink um, or something running off that tap. I was thinking of doing like a fire engine or something for, for the kids and the wife. Um, so down the track, We'll have that fourth keg, and then we'll get another four kegs, and we will um, we'll have them on rotation. So the idea is to have an XPA on one tap, a pale ale IPA on another tap. Um, vice for I guess I could put the sorry XPA, IPA, uh, pale ale, um, and use one of those that use a third tap as a rotation in the cooler months. We'll put a stout, um, you know, a Cascadian dark ale, or something like that. Something quite um, uh, it's dark and hoppy, I guess. Um, with that fourth tap being totally dedicated to the rest of the family, so I think that's a good deal. Um, uh, try and keep them happy. I'm, I'll be happy to have the three taps. There is room to go a couple of more taps, uh, but it's not it's not the plan. I think four is manageable, um, and have those extra four kegs on rotation. Well. There will be um, the four kegs on rotation for the beer. I don't think I'll need to rotate a keg um, for the for the rest of the family. I think one keg just keep refilling um, blows out. It's quite easy to mix it up. Yeah, obviously, you just go with some um, spring water and um, some flavouring. I think some guys using Soda Stream flavourings to to make up a soft drink tap. Um, there is doing some doing spirits um, with soda stream um, mixtures um, on tap, so pre-mix um, spirits. It's all a matter of playing around, getting it right. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan. So I'll probably just alternate uh, the third tap between um, uh, stronger high B IBU beers and the stouts coming into the cooler seasons. Uh, other things we've got going on at the moment, the Reaper Mead, uh, five litre cowboy, um, has been going for quite a few weeks now. I've um, racked that to a secondary carboy um, to help clear it up. For those who follow me on um, uh, Instagram, I think I did put up, pretty sure I put up a photo of that. The, um, the clarity of it is quite clear, it's dropped out quite well, still some sediment in that secondary at the bottom. Um, I don't think I'll transfer it again. I think I might just rack off um, pretty much above, just above where that sediment's sitting. Um, the other one we got going is the um, Habanero and um, Queen. I forget the name of it, but it was a puree from a, a Queen Plum. Queen Black or something like that it was called, uh, Plum, uh, we put that in there, it's still looking quite murky, like mud, I guess you could say, um, like an unfiltered tin uh, kit um, beer, uh, still got a little bit of foam on top, there's still a lot of yeast action, that actually used um, a wash well, actually, it was just trub. I tipped trub in there, which might have contributed to the way it's turned out at the moment, where it's quite murky and uh, sort of muddy looking. Uh, so it was a trub from the um, Sigmund Voss Lake um, that I used in the Rustic Ale. We're slowly churning through those Rustic Ales. I'm still not 100% happy with the way that one turned out. Um, it's just got something about it. I, I'm, can't put my finger on not quite you know it's, it's drinkable um, by all means um, but it just has that it's just got that back flavor I'm just uh, it's 
I, I've t- like tannins and maybe you know, from the grain that I used. I'm, I think I mentioned it in the podcast um, that I wasn't quite happy with the way that turned out due to that flavour. But um, there's not many beers that I waste. I slowly get through them. I might do blendings just to try and balance it out and try and get it to a decent flavour where I can consume it. Um, the only other time I've not had many, thank God, is the infections. I wouldn't even bother trying to keep them to see whether they they um, they lose that uh, infection flavour or uh, off flavours. Uh, if something seriously doesn't sit right with my palate in tasting, it's straight down the drain or it's out in the lawn, good lawn food as far as I'm concerned. Um, you're just wasting your time hanging on to it and you, you, you're holding up valuable space, I guess you could say. Anyway, without rambling on any more about what we've got going on here, um, there's still quite a fair bit of Equinot, um, Hops, Galaxy Hops, Hallowar 2 Tradition, Hallowar 2 Middle Fru, um, Ella, um, we've got here in the in the freezer. Jump on over eBay, um, you'll find it on there. I've got quite a few varieties, a lot of 100 gram of um, deals, but I've just started listing um, some of the bulk stuff. I've done four banger deals, which is four different hops, four 100 gram bags, plus you get a bonus 50 grams of a, a random hop. So it's pretty much, you know, sort of whatever I pull out of the freezer, something that's probably not um, listed, it's just fallen. Um, to the wayside of the listings on, on eBay and, and Gumtree and um, just trying to get through that. There's no there's no big money, there's next to no profit being made out of it. I'm just doing it to turn it over, get it out of the way. Um, uh, we've got a lot of new things happening here, so that's, um, that's all going to be good. Contact me um, uh, privately. Um, I'm always down to do a deal um, it's something that you like something that you see um, just throw an offer up I can always throw an offer back and if it, if it suits you then we can go for it um, anyway the biggie juice from Feral Brewing Co uh, 1.8 standard drinks 6% um, it says treat like milk refrigerate when possible which is pretty much on all their packaging. Um, there's not a lot more information that's been put on this can. It's obviously a uh, it's an East Coast IPA. The aroma is quite nice. There's been a few people that I've spoken to that aren't um, they aren't too crash hot on. Didn't sort of hit the mark with them. As you can see, it's quite a hazy beer. Definitely a hazy, juicy, biggie juice. Faint orange juice and sort of brekkie juice aroma on the nose. Head. Yeah, it's a one finger head. Taste. Orange, black currant, zingy, very zingy. Um, it hasn't got a punch in the face bitterness to it about it, it's, which is what I expected. Very piney too. Do I rate it? Well, (sighs) 
and the fact that I didn't pay for it's quite good. Um, not much on the aroma, but really, it's, which is quite surprising because the aroma is not giving away actually how much that hop flavour is actually there. It doesn't. doesn't hit the mark with me that much to be honest uh, but like I say the fact that I didn't pay for it so I got this and a six pack of the uh, malt shovels XPA um, it's part of a swap so what I done was I sorry excuse me out of focus there as I answered a reply or a, a post on a, uh, on a forum in regards to someone locally in Newcastle who was after hop resumes um, I dug up as much as I could. I think there was around about 12, 13 resumes all up. Um, so Hearst Brucker, uh, um uh, Dr. Rudy, which is a super alpha, Chinook, uh, Pride of Ringwood, and um, oh, that might have been it. Cascade wasn't quite ready. We got lost a couple of Cascades over the years, and I've just only just last season put that cascade in um, and I didn't want to disturb it only after 12 months or one season of growing so I left that in um, so what others are charging around about $20 a resume and I think my resumes were for what I gave him was quite good and packaged well uh, I should hold up to a hundred hours in cold storage before he puts them in the ground um, so considering some of the selling them from around about $20 each and that's not even including postage especially on eBay places like that uh, nurseries are starting to sell a few of them now um, there's a couple of um, uh, hardware shops and other places around that are starting to sell a few here and there the probably gave him around about 12 of, uh, resumes of various varieties we'll be looking at you know anything up to 140 dollars to buy something like that um, individually over the internet so I think he got a good deal there um, I don't expect I didn't really pay for mine I don't expect to, to for people to be paying for me either so um, if you're in the area uh, I'm always happy to throw some around don't actually have any left and sending some more up to a friend's farm um, they're expanding uh, what's well, actually in a brewery so um, uh, well the brewery's on the horizon anyway so uh, they're just getting a few things sorted now uh, we'll send some more resumes their way um, and um, hopefully in the next 12 months to two years um, we'll see some pretty good progress in that area anyway that's the biggie juice that's what's happening in the brewery can't wait to get these parts uh, complete this setup and um, get some more brews down uh, I've got another um, experimental kit and kilo going down I just want to get kegs filled as quick as I can I've we're taking a lot of stuff in to the brewery that I've, excuse me, that I'm storing at the moment um, before the big clean out again, and um, uh, I've got some new vessels that we're going to be building the um, three vessel with. Um, just got to source the pumps and uh, quick disconnects and and um, nipples and all that kind of stuff that go with it. Um, uh, tossing up with the go with the heat exchanger and um, all in line uh, chillers and, and stuff like that. It's a couple of years in that build, I think, and taken a, a few other blokes that I know a couple of years to build theirs. So I think um, we might just um, take our time in that one and concentrate on getting this keyser finished and um, uh, getting some kegs filled. Uh, 
got a few more plans on some needs. Uh, I'm planning a Groot as well, which is a it's a mead and beer uh, recipe. Um, also planning a uh, ginger wine as well. So I'm going to try and get as close as I can to a green ginger wine um, or greens uh, stones green ginger wine that is and um, hopefully have some of that uh, uh, as an alternative as well so if we're not going to put a stout on tap we might just put a uh, stones green ginger wine client on tap uh, for the winter months um, with some uh, dry ginger ale Cheers for watching, catch you in the next video.